We're transforming the Toy Lab TV headquarters into Scary Central today. Hey toy fans, welcome back to Toy Lab TV. I'm Aaron and it's Scary Fun Day today. Cool, we're gonna be opening up this giant Play-Doh surprise egg of a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> you know though, I think the Toy Lab TV headquarters is looking just a little barren today. So maybe we should head up in the attic and see what kind of fun and scary toys and ornaments we can find. Okay, so we're going up in the attic. It's a little dark up there. I think it could be kind of scary. So I got my trusty little, up. Oh, there it goes. I got my trusty little lantern. Hopefully this isn't too scary up there. Come on. It's scary up here. Where are those Halloween decorations? Cool, there's the Halloween pumpkins. These will be perfect to use outside. Cool, I can't wait to get those set up outside. But you know what? We need some more decorations for inside the Toy Lab TV headquarters, so let's see what's in these boxes. Okay, so, hey, we got some spider web. Wow, that's like a big spider. Hey, look at that, it's like a flame light. That could be cool. And look at this, it's a fiery cauldron. That'll be great. And, hey, that's pretty cool, a little pumpkin candlelight. One more box like Christmas. Ooh, look at that skull. You know, I think this one actually lights up. And another skull. This one's a strobe light. So that means it's going to flicker and flash. These will be great for the Toy Lab TV headquarters. Awesome. Let's go downstairs and hook it all up. Check out the Toy Lab TV headquarters now that we put in all of our scary and fun toys and decorations. How cool is this? We've got flaming cauldrons and spiders on the table. And we even have a crystal skull back here. But don't worry, he's a pretty good guy. We also have some toys. Actually, I'm not sure if this is really a toy. This is actually a pumpkin carving kit that's gonna let us do Spider-Man on a pumpkin. We've also got over here a little light up jack-o'-lantern check that out that'd be pretty cool for going trick-or-treating and this is like a, a little foamy set so you can put all these foam pieces together and make a haunted house why don't we start on this haunted house now before we open up our play-doh egg and we'll put this together real quickly and see what it looks like cool check out this foam crafts project that we just completed it did take a little while to put it together but i think it turned out really well and it's going to be a great haunted house to add in to the toy lab tv headquarters all right now it's time to open up our giant play-doh surprise jack-o-lantern egg cool and wait, what's this? Ah, it's a spider! Quick, get it off, get it off! Ah, ah, there we go. Ah, the spider's gone. Look, it's even got the little jack, the pumpkin stem there on top. So if you like our Play-Doh artwork, please give us a thumbs up, like down below, and let us know, and we'll keep doing more Play-Doh eggs. But you know what? I think it's time to peel back the Play-Doh layers on this bad boy and see what surprise toys we have inside. Popped off. Wow, look at all the Play-Doh! It's like slime. All right, check out, wow, all of these surprise toys. Let's get started. All right, let's start off with our Plants vs. Zombies blind bag. This is from Connect, so let's put it together and see who we have. All right, here's our zombie all assembled. And you know, I think I actually uh, dropped a piece on the floor because there's supposed to be a little extra piece that snaps around his waist to hold this, uh, I think that's a stick of dynamite right there. And I can't find it, but you know, he's holding on to his dynamite just fine on his own. So I think this zombie could be a pretty bad dude to run into especially if you're a plant. We do know that this is series two, but the chart does not have names for our characters. And I'll be honest, we're kind of new to Plants vs. Zombies. So if this 
character here has a name. Could you tell us in the comments below if you know it? That would be really awesome. Hey, it's Angry Bird Space. So this Angry Birds blind bag includes a dog tag. This one says Laser Bird and it's number two out of 20 and there's Laser Bird right up here. So what is this blind bag right here? It says Glow Halloween Insect. All right, here's our little glowing spider. But wait a minute, he's not glowing. That's because he needs his glow stick. Kind of give it a crack. There we go, now it's starting to glow a little bit. All right, there we go. Now we turn the camera light off, we can see how it's glowing. So we'll get our little spider. Kind of goes right there. If we put this in total darkness, I think it would be glowing pretty well. So, what is this big green tub? Silly sludge. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's just, that, oh, wow. Okay, I don't know why we had to get the green silly sludge. <laughs> oh boy, wow. That's definitely appropriate for our scary fun themed egg. Uh, but I think I gotta put this down or I might, uh, I just get a little sick to my stomach here. Oh, oh. Okay, we knocked a few blind bags out of the egg, so what did we lose? Oh, hey, Bob, how about that? It's a Minecraft hanger. And it looks like we got Wolf again. So we've gotten Wolf before in one of our earlier giant Play-Doh Minecraft surprise eggs. So we'll add him to our collection. What is this blind bag here? Okay, it says mini figures from Lego, and these look like scary Lego figures. Here we have the pieces. I have no clue what character this is. Let's put it together to find out. Here is our Lego mini figure, and I'm pretty sure that's a man-eating plant character there. See, this is kind of like the mouth, and these are the kind of tentacle arms of the plant, and you can see there's little vines all over this guy, so it's like he's been eaten by the plant. Oh no, that's terrible. And let's find him on this chart, and there he is right there, number five. And check out some of these other characters. There's a wolf, and it looks like a kind of a skeleton pirate, like a ghost pirate, and a mad scientist, and a witch. These are some cool Lego minifigures. Okay, here's a Angry Birds mashup. Here's our Angry Bird, and this is Stella. And I know that because we got a Stella Angry Bird in our recent Inside Out giant Play-Doh surprise egg. And one of our commenters, Phil, was nice enough to tell us Stella's name. So thank you, Phil. Unfortunately, we got Stella all over again. So, oh well. Stella's gonna come get us with her Masham eyeball. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, it's time now for another Plants vs. Zombies blind bag. Hey, I think we might have gotten a plant this time. Let's put it together. All right, check it out. This Plants vs. Zombies figure from Kinex is a plant, and it includes a launcher up here. Cool, so you pull it back. Boom! There's a zombie coming to get me! Ah! There's our plant right there. This is still series two, like our zombie that we opened up earlier, and we don't know the name. So if you know the name, could you please tell us in the comments below? That would be awesome. And then we'll bring in our zombies. Now we've got one of each, a plant and a zombie, so they can do battle with the plant launching his projectile. Ooh, he missed, but then the zombie comes over with his little pack of dynamite and blows him up. All right, we've got another glow bag. This time it says it's a rodent. Ooh. Ooh, here comes the rodent. Oh boy, that's kind of a scary looking rodent. I've got him hanging from a black little string here that comes with this glowing character figure. Let's put our glow stick into our little rodent right there. It's kind of a slot. And he glows. Ooh, he's gonna come get us. All right, we've got another Lego minifigures character. Okay, which one do you think this is? 
check out this zombie Lego minifigure. Cool. So he's got like the real zombie look going on. He's in his suit and tie, so I think maybe he uh, turned into a zombie while he was at work at the you know, stock market or at the bank or something. He's got a copy of the Zombie Times, and the headline reads, Brains! We got two really good, scary, fun Lego minifigures today. I think we're down to the end of our surprises. That's it. It's the last thing. Hey, looky there. That's the piece I was missing earlier on our zombie. And we have an Ugly's Pet Shop blind container. It says there are two inside. We've not opened these before. This is our first. Here are the two characters in our surprise canister from the Ugly's Pet Shop. We'll start with this one here on the left. and It looks kind of like a beagle dog. And I think he's throwing up. Oh, that's just going to make me sick to my stomach right there. I see him right here underneath Stickiest. It says Barfing Beagle. Here's our character's friend that came with him. And I'm not totally certain what breed he is. I'm thinking maybe he's a, a bulldog. There he is right there. Stenchy French Bulldog. I think that's him right there. So that means he's a stinky guy. Woo! Check out all of the fun surprise toys we found inside our jack-o'-lantern surprise egg today. If you like our giant Play-Doh surprise eggs and our scary fun decorations, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel using that red button down below. And if you'd like to watch us unwrap two giant Minecraft Play-Doh surprise eggs, click here on the left to watch now. Or you can click on the right to watch our giant inside-out Play-Doh surprise egg. Thanks for watching.